Soccer legend Mike Mangena has been granted 50,000 rand bail. He and three other suspects appeared briefly in the Rand Fontaine Magistrate's Court earlier. They were charged with manufacturing drugs. This after a drug lab was found on a plot belonging to Mangena. Reporter Lindo Gutle Kulu joins us now from Rand Fontaine. Lindo, good morning to you. Uh, so give us the latest coming out of court. So Mike Mangena has been granted bail. What about the three others that he's accused with? Well, Koli, what I can tell you is that Mike Mangena has been granted bail. Uh, we understand that he will be coughing out 50,000 rands for his bail. But what he, we understand also was that he offered to the court that he will be able to offer a bail amount of between 50,000 rands and 100,000 rands. Uh, and another thing that came out of court was that when he argued his case, he said that he has businesses uh, that would be affected if uh, the, he was incarcerated during the investigations of this. And he still maintains his innocent saying that he is innocent and he did cooperate with authorities as soon as he found out that he is needed by them. So as soon as they wanted him, he did go to them. So those are his arguments around it. But Koli, you can see that there is uh, people sitting around me. This is the community or community leaders around him are saying that uh, they were opposing this and they did write a letter uh, to the court saying that he mustn't be granted bail. But let's just get an idea, a sense of why exactly is that I am going to speak to one of the community members. Mama, thank you so much for joining me. Just take me through the fact that you didn't want bail for the suspect. Yes, we didn't want bail for the first suspect. Uh, what we did, we wrote a letter to the prosecutor opposing the bail. Unfortunately, our, our plea was, was not carried and we are really disappointed on how our judiciary system conducts its process because rem remember, just yesterday we just launched a 16 days of activism against women and children abuse and part of the 16 days of activism, we are making an awareness, awareness campaign in terms of the drug laws that are running around our schools, our schools, our community, which it really it makes it makes our our, our our young people not to not to understand uh, in terms of where they are going because they are they are they are, they are misused and they, they are used by these drug lords. So we are angry and disappointed in terms of the outcome of today. But in terms of my understanding that uh, he, he he says he's innocent and he says that you know he didn't know what was happening in his plot and he further says that he did cooperate with the police. Uh, isn't that enough for uh, for you guys to? actually grant him bail in that regard? No, it doesn't. The fact is his premises was used to manufacture drugs and as a landlord you must make sure that you, you conduct inspections and you check uh, in terms of what is happening within the premises. So for us it, it doesn't carry weight. It doesn't at all. The drugs were found in his premises and that it, it gives us a weight in terms of uh, he must be found guilty. Mm. And the yes. conversations that the community members who were standing in front, I mean behind you, uh, were saying that there is a problem here of drugs around the areas here. But take us through that. Is there a drug problem around these communities? Yes, there is a drug problem of, uh, uh, of there is a problem of drugs within our space. You can go to school um, and check in terms of kids who have dropped out in schools. Uh, we have statistics um, within our communities. Like yesterday, I'm saying we were launching. We had victims uh, that that are currently under uh, a supervision within uh, the, 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 the the what is it. Uh, the, the area of 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 of, of Ranfantein, where they 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 take him they take kids for rehabilitation go to that area and see how many kids are there who have been affected by 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 the drug by, by the drugs it, it, it's really it's really sickening and it, it we, we we can't we can't say it's an excuse for him to, to for him to tell us that uh, He's not part of that and uh, he, he didn't know. It, it's not on. It's not on, really. All right, Mama. One of the uh, community leaders here is taking us through some of the problems they have with this, saying that uh, this is a disappointment for them, that uh, Mike Sporo Mangena was granted bail. But one of the things, Koli, I need to put to you is the fact that uh, the three other suspects were not granted bail, in fact. And, uh, you know, one of the reasons why these community members are saying is that, uh, you know, when you have money, you can get away with Anything. And that is why they were really trying to put it to the courts that he shouldn't be allowed, even despite the fact that uh, you know he has proven all of these things. He has claimed that he is innocent or maintained that he is innocent. I am going to try somehow. It seems it's going to be an impossible task, but I am going to try. I see uh, Pindi there. The NPA is here. Uh, Sis Pindi.
I'm going to try and move Goli for you, but uh, it's uh, a bit of a, a situation here as uh, some of the, uh, in fact, uh, um, communist members were standing there and my colleagues are also conducting some interviews. Sispindi, um, what I got uh, a sense of the fact that uh, there was no opposing of this bail uh, from the prosecution. Please just take us through that. Indeed, yes. As a state, we, were not op- we, did, we did not oppose bail. Reasons being, um, we are of the view that uh, Mr. Mangena, from the onset, has has not uh, tried to evade justice. He handed himself over to the police, so he cooperated with the investigation. And further than that, we didn't have any other reason to oppose bail as a state. All right, but uh, you know, it's, it, 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 is the, it, it, you, are you getting a sense as the National Prosecuting Authority that there isn't, in fact, um, a case against Mike Mangena? Uh, what is it exactly? Is it because the state believes that he is innocent? No, no, no. Um, remember that bail has nothing to do with the trial itself. Uh, bail is, is just set in order to secure a person's uh, attendance in court. So at this stage, the state has preferred uh, charges against Mr. Mangena and three others, and the onus lies with the state to prove those allegations beyond reasonable doubt. So. Him getting bail must not be confused with his innocence or his guilt. That is still uh, to be ventilated in court. The state needs to prove its case and the defense needs to defend its case. I'll leave some of my colleagues to continue with that interview. But that's uh, the National Prosecuting Authority saying that uh, this has nothing to do with the innocence or uh, the guilt of a person. The bail is granted upon the grounds that he is not a flight risk and that he will be able to stand trial. And of course now it's up to the uh, prosecution as well as the defense to allow that process to take its course. But one of the things Tony, they said was that uh, this case has now been postponed to February the 21st next year where uh, this space will allow uh, the investigations to take place and therefore the, uh, uh, the state then can make a case as to why they believe that uh, Mike Sporomangena was involved in uh, these criminal activities, this drug lab that they found in his premises. Right, uh, Linda Wotel, on the ground for us at uh, the Randfontein Magistrates Court and uh, just to recap for you, it is uh, breaking news, uh, the soccer legend Mike Mangena uh, granted bail, 50,000 rand being posted there for him to uh, be able to leave the uh, jail cells, if you like, for that uh, accusation that uh, the drugs were uh, discovered in a property that uh, he owns. And uh, as you heard from Lindo Gutlekulu as well, the three other suspects that he was arrested with, those people have uh, not been granted bail. And uh, the reasoning that that, uh, the prosecution putting forward is that uh, Mike Mangana is not a uh, a flight risk, uh, is not, uh, he's not someone who uh, wanted to, uh, or who uh, who, who exhibited uh, anything that indicated that uh, he might be uh, running away from justice.